Hi, my name is Natieli and today's tutorial is for these cats in Amigo Rumi. Uh, the ones we are going to make is this, solid colors. So you can choose uh, the color you want. And, and later I'll be posting the other patterns. Like this one with three colors, so this black and white and this just with the face in white. Because these are a little bit more um, hard to make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing the easier one and then uh, escalate. Um, so these are keychains. They are really tiny. But you can make it. Um, I made this one with a 3.5 millimeter hook. But you can make it as a bigger one like this. Or this <laughs> um, with a thicker yarn and a bigger hook for these ones I used a five millimeters hook and this is the hook I'm gonna use in the video because it's easier for you to see so let's get started So we're going to be using a 5 millimeter hook and I'm going to use a 100% cotton yarn. So for the first round, what we're going to do is we're going to do a magic ring and then we're going to place six single crochets on the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Now we pull through and this is was the end of our first round that we finished with six stitches now for round number two we're gonna increase six times so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one and two single crochets uh, together in the same stitch uh, six times so, so we just increase once now I'm going to make two single crochets on the same stitch again. So two increases. Now three increases. Four, five, and six increases. So this was the end of round number two. We have now 12 stitches. So now for round number three, we're going to do one single crochet and one we increase and we're going to repeat that up to the end of our round so I'm going to start here by doing one single crochet placing my marker now I'm going to increase on the next so first time we did one single crochet one increase so now I'm going to do one single crochet and two single crochets together on the next now I'm going to repeat that up to the end of our round. We're going to do that six times total. One single crochet, one increase. One single crochet, one increase. One single crochet, and one increase. One single crochet, and one increase. Six times. So by the end of this round, that is round number three, we're going to have 18 stitches total. Now, four rounds, four, two, seven, we're gonna make um, 18 stitches. So, we're gonna make four rounds with uh, 18 single crochets. So just, we're just gonna do single crochet after single crochet. Once, a second, a third, and a fourth time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So we just did 18 once, now we're going to do three more rounds because it's 
rounds to four to seven. I'm gonna pause the video because otherwise it's gonna be too long. But you can pause it too and just make uh, rounds four to seven uh, with me. So I finished here uh, uh, up to round number seven. Four rounds from uh, four to seven with 18 sick, uh, single crochets. So uh, it seems uh, easy and bigger because this is the thicker yarn. But if you're doing the small one, you got to place the eyes right now. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to. So here is the first stitch of a round. We're going to place the eyes between round seven and six. Uh, for this one, I'm going to use 10 millimeters eye, and for this, I use 7 millimeter eye, the tiny ones. So, the first eye, we're going to place between, uh, it's between rounds, so he, in the middle. So, now here is our marker. So, this is the first stitch. So, between the second and the third stitch of uh, the round, we're going to place the eye. So, one, two. Uh, one, two, and three. So between two and three, you see? One, two, three. Between two and three, we're gonna place one eye. And then uh, between seven and eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So between those two, I'm gonna place the other eye. Uh, I'm gonna uh, lock them in here and I come back. So I place the eyes here. Now uh, we have st we stopped in the round number seven here. So now we're gonna start round number eight. For round number eight, we're gonna start by doing uh, 10 single crochets. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten single crochets. Now I'm gonna decrease once. One. Now I'm gonna do one single crochet and one decrease two times. So, one single crochet and one decrease. One time and one single crochet and one decrease two times. So we finished this round, that was round number eight with 15 stitches. And now we're gonna place uh, the nose. So the nose we're gonna place between uh, round uh, number eight and number seven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the eyes between uh, the nose between the eyes. So if you do it right, it's gonna be between the uh, fifth and sixth. So this is our marker. So this is the first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five and six so between these two we're gonna place our nose here this is a um, uh, seven millimeter nose so this one I'm gonna do all the details in black difference of this one that I place uh, color eyes. So now I'm going to place my uh, security um, thing here and I come back. So I place here uh, the nose. Now we're going to start round number nine. So for round number nine, we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease five times total. So just one single crochet here, place my marker. So I'm gonna do this five times, one single crochet, one invisible decrease. 
once, one single crochet, one invisible decrease twice, one single crochet, one invisible decrease a third time, and one single crochet, one invisible decrease a fourth time, and one single crochet, and one invisible decrease five times. So we finished this round, that was round number nine with, with 10 stitches. Now we're gonna stuff the head. Now that is stuffed, uh, we need to go for the next round, round number 10. In round number 10, we're just going to make five decreases. So we're going to do one invisible decrease, two invisible decreases, three, four, and five. So that's gonna be uh, the neck of the cat. It almost closed it up. And we finished this round, that was round number 10, with five stitches. Now for round number 11, we're gonna do the inverse. We're just gonna do five increases now. This is just to make the neck. So one and two single crochets together. Our first increase, let's place my marker here one increase two three four and five five increases so I finished this round, that was round number 11 with 10 stitches again. Now for round number 12, we're just gonna do 10 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten single crochets. So I finished this round, that was round number 12, with ten stitches. So we're gonna start now, uh, round 13. We're gonna start by doing one increase. So one, and two single crochets together in the same stitch. Now we're gonna do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six single crochets. Uh, so we're gonna increase again here. So one and two single crochets together. We're gonna finish with two single crochets. So one and two. So we finish uh, round 13 with 12 stitches. Now for round uh, 14, we're gonna start by doing one single crochet, one increase, so one and two single crochets together. Now seven single crochets, so one, two, three, four, five, six and seven single crochets now we're going to increase once so one and two single crochets together and we're going to finish the round by doing two single crochets so one and two so we finish round number 14 with four 14 stitches for round 15 we're going to start by doing one increase so one and two single crochets together and I'm gonna place the marker here in the first stitch so one increase one single crochet and one increase again now we're gonna do nine single crochets one two three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and nine single crochets. Now we're gonna do one increase and one single crochet. So one, two single crochets together and one single crochet in the next. So we finished this round, that was round number 15, with 17 stitches. For round 16, we're going to make one increase in the first stitch. So one and two single crochets together. And then uh, we're going to make 16 single crochets. So one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen single crochets. So now I finish round sixteen with eighteen stitches. Uh, for round seventeen, we're gonna start by doing one increase in the first stitch. So one, and two single crochets together in the same stitch. We're gonna place the marker. And now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next and one increase again in the next. So one and two single crochets. And now we're gonna finish this round by doing 15 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen single crochets. So I finished round, uh, this was round 17, uh, with 20 stitches. Now we're gonna start round 18. We're gonna start by doing one increase and one single crochet. We're gonna repeat that four times. So one increase, uh, two single crochets together, and one single crochet in the next. So that was our first time. Now one increase and one single crochet a second time. One increase, and one single crochet a third time, one increase and one single crochet a fourth time. Now we're gonna do uh, 12 more stitches, 12 more single crochets, so one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we finished this round. This was round number 18. We finished it with 24 stitches. For round 19, we're going to start by doing four single crochets. So I'm going to make one here and place the marker. And now uh, three more. So one, two, three and four. So now we're gonna do the tail. Uh, for the tail, we're gonna chain 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. It's a long tail. <laughs> and now we're gonna slip stitch in the chains. So we're going to skip the first uh, one, the first chain, and we're going to start by slip stitching on the next. So one slip stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oops. 10, 11, and 12 slip stitches on the chain. Oh, this doesn't look good. 
gotta be perfect because it's stale so yeah so now we go back to the round here uh, so we finish so the last single crochet we did for was this one so we go back in in the round here and the next we're gonna do eight single crochets so one two three four five six seven and eight now we're gonna do a bubble stitch if you don't know how to make it I'm gonna teach you so we're gonna do a bubble stitch with three loops so what we do is we yarn over go here go through yarn over again pull through so we have three loops now we yarn over and pull through two and now we have two loops the one that we have in the first stitch and the first loop of the bubble stitch so we yarn over again go through the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over we have four loops here but we pull through two only so now we have three uh, loops the one in the stitch before and two loops in the bubble stitch so we got to do one more yarn over pull through the stitch uh, we have five loops we yarn over and pull through only two and now we have the true loops and three loops in the bubble stitch so one loop in the single crochet and one two three for the bubble stitch now we yarn over and pull through all of them but we gotta take our finger and push this to the front you see now we're gonna get, come back here and do single crochets normally so one single crochet but we gotta just pull the the stitch tight so one single crochets two single crochets now we're gonna do a popcorn stitch popcorn stitching it's made with double crochets so we're gonna yarn over here and do one double crochet um, I'm gonna do four two double crochets three on the same stitch three double crochets and four double crochets all in the same stitch so we made four here one two three four now we take the first uh, loop here and we take uh, the last one and pull through so this is a popcorn stitch it's shaped like a popcorn now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next and one more popcorn stitch with four uh, double crochets like I told uh, thought before so this one I'm gonna do a little bit quicker if you have a doubt you can come back on the video a little bit and see how I done the popcorn stitch but so far I just did four double crochets now I'm gonna take here and pull through the loop uh, so we do two single crochets so one and two and now we're gonna make a bubble stitch again so the bubble stitch I'm gonna do quicker this time but you can come back in the video if you need uh, so we're gonna do three loops so one two and three loops now yarn over pull through all of them and we're gonna finish this round with three single crochets so one two and three so by the end of this round round number 19 we almost done uh, we did the paws and the tail and we finished up uh, with 24 stitches for round number 20 we're just gonna make 24 single crochets uh, so I'm gonna show you how so one two three and four so what we do is we skip the tail but you got to remember not to leave it inside gotta leave it outside so you skip the tail so four single crochets now we come here and do the fifth one five six 
this will help uh, the tail to be up you see when you skip it and tie it up the tail is gonna be easily up oh I lost count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and twenty four now we're gonna stuff the body a tiny bit you gotta stuff all the way through <laughs> And now we're gonna, I'm gonna stuff a little bit more in the way. So now we're gonna decrease. Uh, so we finish round 20 with 24 stitches because we just did 24 single crochets. For round number 21, we're gonna decrease 12 times. So one, decrease, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve decreases. So I just finished round twenty-one with twelve uh, stitches. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the yarn here. We're gonna leave it a long tail so we can close it up. And now I'm gonna take a tapestry needle. I'm gonna pull down my marker here. And I'm gonna stuff the body a little bit more because it's quite empty. Uh, there's no need to like stuff too much because otherwise if you don't, uh, if you do it like that, uh, it won't stand because it's going to be too much stuffing coming out. Right now it's standing, you see? The tiny ones are a little bit harder to stand. Maybe if you like uh, cut a little bit of plastic and put it inside, it will make it easy to stand. Now I'm going to take a tapestry needle here, pull through, and I'm going to make an inverted magic ring. So we're going to take the front loops two at a time and pull through this yarn so two at a time just the front loops uh, we're gonna do this six times and do a uh, inverted magic ring we're just gonna do pull through the last two and now you pull look how it closes so cute now I'm gonna just tie a knot here so I'm gonna get in pull through I'm gonna tie a knot here in a random place just to secure the yarn and now I'm gonna loose the yarn inside the, the amigurumi cut it Yeah, so there's something missing in this kit, isn't it? <laughs> so the ears. For the ears, I've, I've learned a new technique that it's really nice and you don't need to sew in. You just pull through the yarn. So what we're going to do, we're going to come here on top of the head and you got to be uh, facing, the cat got to be facing you. So we're going to come. Uh, you see, this is the last, uh, first round. So we're gonna come in the two rounds uh, before that and pull, uh, go through the needle. So this is the first round. So between the two before, we're gonna come with our needle. So you see, just pull through. Now I'm gonna pull through again and just leave a loop like this and pull through the yarn you see so you got this loop and it's like a magic ring 
so you got this loop you can pull it up here here and here the loop is still here it's just a little bit tight so what you're gonna do you're gonna do a slip stitch so pull through and then slip stitch once now what we're gonna do is one half double crochet so yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through three um, one half double crochet now we're gonna chain twice so one and two and we're gonna do a, a slip stitch on the second chain so this is the first uh, the second the first and the second so we're gonna do just a slip stitch we take you one of the chain loops and then we slip stitch so we do this corner here and now uh, we do one half double crochet again and now we slip stitch here and cut the yarn you don't need to leave it like a long tail because you're gonna hide it in and now I'm gonna just pull through here so now you pull the, the, the our fake magic ring here because it's gonna tie the ear up look at it and I just gonna loose this yarn inside so this way you don't need to sew in the ears you just tie a knot here and now we're gonna just lose the yarn inside the cat and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other ear uh, magic ring this kind of magic ring here and the same pattern you can come back in the video a little bit so I just come out like in a random place so the yarns are hidden and I cut it up so I'm gonna show you again how to do uh, the quote unquote magic ring here just gonna do like in the other side now two rounds we're gonna take two rounds here and pull through and now we pull through again and just make a loop like this and now we can make our ear we pull through the magic ring do a slip stitch half double crochet one two chain slip stitch on the second chain half double crochet again and one slip stitch to close it in it's really quite easy and I'm just gonna lose uh, gonna tie up the magic ring first and then lose the yarn inside the amigurumi so there you go our cat is ready just squeeze his tail a little bit <laughs> so it gets like that wrinkle and there you have it look how cute it is <laughs> so it stands you see and you can make it as big as you want depending on the yarn you use and the uh, hook size and smaller as you want also since I use a 3.5 millimeter hook here on this cat you can do it way tinier if you have like a thinner uh, yarn and a thinner needle also so thank you so much for watching uh, stay tuned for all the other cats I'm gonna make. If you don't have uh, security eyes and nose like that, uh, you can just embroider like this one. It stays really cute also. So stay tuned for the next patterns. Don't forget to give the like if you like this pattern and subscribe so you can see all the new videos and patterns I'm gonna post. See you next time. Bye-bye.